What's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my handsome, and my powerful Scorpios out there are doing well. Scorpio, I apologize. I said I'll be back Sunday. But when I got up yesterday, my body told me to lay that down and try it again today, okay? So that's exactly what I had to do, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. We're going to start off with some self-care messages, and then we're going to see what type of energy is around you at this time, Scorpio, okay? So if anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also comment. If you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. So the first card we have here is family here, okay? Some of you, maybe you've been like, your intuition has been telling you, like, maybe you need to connect with, you know, some family or, or make make amends with some family members that you know you can have some issues with at this time. I feel like for some of you, there can be like some mother-daughter issues. because It's like a mom and a daughter here. Like maybe, you know, you need to talk. Okay, this talks about many of us store unresolved family traumas. As time passes and we evolve our perspective, we can find forgiveness in our hearts. We eventually realize that our families have always done the best they could with the resources, level of emotional development, and knowledge they had at the time. Tap into your divine motherly nature as you practice forgiveness and unconditional love, okay? So there could be some family members, you guys, okay? Maybe it's time to forgive some people. you kind of been holding a grudge against, you know, some family members, someone close to you. And it's just time, you know, to kind of make amends and practice forgiveness. Like, you don't have to deal with that person, you know, but you must forgive them. Forgiveness is for you, okay? We also have sync with the moon, okay? You guys know the full moon is tomorrow okay some of you guys maybe you've been thinking with the moon you've been following more of these moon cycles and learning more about manifestation okay i hope you guys have been out there manifesting okay you don't have to wait until the full, full moon i've been manifesting since friday though the full moon is just the date that the moon is the fullest and it's most illuminated okay but if you really pay attention the moon is going to be full two or three days before and it's going to be full two or three days after the actual full moon okay um, I feel like, because she has her hand on her heart, okay, so I feel like you're starting to feel these moon cycles, okay, you're starting to sink, and it's kind of helping you to, I feel like you're starting to track your feelings, okay, and if you have not, that's something you need to work on, okay, if you're starting to notice that, especially the full moons, the different moon cycles are affecting you emotionally, okay? Start writing down those feelings because you can be a moon goddess as well, okay? That's why I call myself the moon goddess because as I really started to get in sync with these moon cycles, it helped me to understand a little bit better about myself. I was like, damn, my body or my emotions and shit really be, you know what I'm saying, intertwined with these energies, and it really does, okay? We also have sex, Scorpio. Let's see what numbers we got. 23, 51, and 44, okay? I feel like healing. You know, sex can be a very healing experience, okay? When we treat it as a sacred experience and divine union. To achieve the deepest states of pleasure and connection, we must have an open heart and body, trust, and be able to hold the frequency of pure presence. So I feel like some of you maybe need to start channeling here, okay? Or or learning how to express your sex, like expressing sex in a healthy way, okay? Because sometimes when you experience trauma, it's like you really don't get to enjoy sex, okay? So this talks about through reflection, acknowledge your sexual history and be honest with yourself about any limiting beliefs, blocks, or traumas that you need to work on, okay? And this will help you you know, be able to have a enjoyable sexual experience. Then we have flow like the water, okay? Don't try to control things, Scorpio. We know the water flows, 
Okay, when you start to flow with the water versus trying to fight the water and fight the waves and fight things, okay, things start to work a little bit easier. I ain't going to say it's going to be 100%, but flowing with the water. Stop trying to fight against, you know, things that's being put here. Just kind of flow with it because we ain't got much control, Scorpio. I'm going to tell you right now. From what I'm learning, you know what I'm saying, I say out of 100% shit, we probably got about 90, 95. No, we got 5 or 10%. I say spirit got about 95 90 to 95% control, okay? So the little bit that we do have control over, you know, utilize it because it ain't much. <laughs> but you can't try to control everything because we, we don't have any control. Now, some of you need to get into writing. I mean, not writing, reading here, okay? Visiting your local library, going to the bookstore. You know, those are the auto books or whatever. You know, this is a... Even listen to your phone. This is a good way to possibly expand your mind and give you a new perspective and some knowledge as well. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what's in this energy. Let's see what type of energy is around us today. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. I hope all you guys are staying cool out here in this week, in this heat wave, y'all. Like this is crazy. Like. This heat wave that we've been experiencing, this shit is bananas, okay? B-A-N-A-N-A-S, okay? <laughs> like, oh, my God. So I hope you guys are staying hydrated. If you got to be out and about in this heat, and if not, you know, shit, stay in the house, Scorpio. All right, Holy Spirit, what type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios today? Messages for my Scorpios. What type of energy, Holy Spirit? Is around my beautiful Scorpio. One more show for y'all. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpio at this time? Oh, Hands, I want to add right, y'all. Give me a second. <laughs> Messages for my Scorpio. What type of energy, Holy Spirit, is around? All right. Okay. So, Scorpio, you can have a Libra that's in your energy here, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. doesn't have to be. All right, Scorpio, we have Divine Feminine. Okay, so I have some twins here. I could be talking to some Divine Feminines. Okay, you can be a Divine Feminine dealing with a Libra here. You can be on a twin flame journey. Your twin can be a Libra. Let's see what's going on here. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpio? Let's get a couple more. Okay, so Scorpio, there is somebody in your energy, okay, this can be a Libra, doesn't have to be, but somebody wants to let you know, Scorpio, they ain't going a dog on place, okay? So this is someone who I feel like has been in your energy. You may think about this person, Scorpio, you could be having dreams about this person, okay? But somebody is in your energy, baby, and they're saying they are not going anywhere, okay? So I feel like for my divine feminist, Joe Twin Flame, <laughs> it's saying, baby, they ain't going nowhere. Let's pull some more Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios? Okay. Oh, shit. Scorpio, we have a confrontation here, okay? So um, there can be a disagreement or an argument here with somebody. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more because y'all know we got to clarify. Who trying to have a little disagreement? Who wants that smoke? Somebody wants to smoke with you, Scorpio. Them. They got imaginary smoke. Cause shit, you chose in Scorpio. You ain't messed up about nobody. They got imaginary smoke with you. Got imaginary problems with you. Like you ain't messed up because you're chosen. Okay, Scorpio, you have that anointing on you right now. Okay, you could be in your high priestess, high priest energy. Okay, so someone Scorpio could be mad that you're chosen. Okay, you got that anointing. Holy Spirit put that anointing on you. Okay, because they knew Scorpio. That, you know what I'm saying, whatever obstacles, whatever challenges that was going to be set on your path, that you was going to be able to, to pass those challenges, okay? Nothing was going to hold you back because you are chosen. You could be seeing 12, 12, Scorpio. All right, tell us more. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay, so Scorpio, somebody here is unapologetic here, okay? 
So someone, Scorpio, I feel like has done something to you, but this person feels like they don't need to apologize, okay? Or maybe they don't want to apologize. This person has not apologized. So somebody here is in this unapologetic ass energy, okay? Someone can either feel like Scorpio, they didn't do nothing wrong, they don't understand what they got to apologize for, or someone just feels the need that they don't need to, okay? I feel like because you guys are chosen, okay, or someone... Some of you, okay, is out there chosen. Spirit is saying it's time to show off those spiritual gifts. So, Scorpio, you can be someone now. You just recently learned about your spiritual gifts, okay? You just learned that spirit blessed you with some type of gift, some type of talent that, you know what I'm saying, they wanted you to share with the world. So if you feel like you are chosen, if you know that you are chosen, if you have spiritual gifts, spirit is wanting you to show those spiritual gifts off to the world, okay? They gave you those gifts for a reason. We also have mama's boy and spoiled daughter, okay? So someone, Scorpio, could want to confront you. Maybe they feel like you spoiled. You always get your way. Your mom, your dad, somebody take care of you, okay? Or someone could just look at you as spoiled, okay? Or they, maybe they, they looking at the things that you have and they feel like, you know, if it weren't for your mom or dad or whomever, you know, that you wouldn't have the things that you have. Somebody here just looks at you as being spoiled, okay? Let's get let's get a couple more, and then we're gonna see who this what, what's going on here. Cause somebody here is in your energy, and they saying they not going nowhere. Okay, we got somebody want to have a confrontation with you, Scorpio. But I feel like it's all over jealousy. Okay, you may have a hater somewhere in your energy because I feel like someone here doesn't like the fact that you're chosen, that you got that anointing over you. Okay, somebody could have felt like, well, shit, why I can have that anointing over me? Okay. Ooh, okay, and we have embarrassing, okay? So somebody could be going through something, Scorpio, that's very embarrassing to them. And this person could be mad, Scorpio, because everything is on the up and up for you, okay? And they could want to confront you about some old BS, Scorpio, is what I feel, okay? What we got here, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with someone or yourself, even if it's difficult, okay? So I feel like whoever this is that's in this unapologetic ass energy, I feel like this is someone that has been doing a lot of thinking. This is someone that knows that they need to be honest with you, even if it's difficult, but they're still in this energy. Like someone here, oh, they ain't grew no balls yet, Scorpio. I'm just going to keep it real with you. You know, they ain't got the balls to apologize to you. They ain't got the balls, Scorpio, to tell you some type of truth here, okay? And then we have unexpected gift. Okay, Scorpio, so you can be receiving an unexpected gift from someone, okay? Now, this unexpected gift, Scorpio, could be from the universe. Maybe you've been doing some universal work. You know, you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing. Or this could be someone, Scorpio, that wants to give you an unexpected gift here, okay? All right, so let's look at I'm not going anywhere. Let's see who this is, Scorpio, that want to let you know. That they not going any dog on world, okay? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us about I'm not going anywhere. Who is this person in Scorpio's energy that's saying they are not going any dog on world? Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Clarify, I'm not going anywhere. Who is this? Messages for my Scorpio. Clarify, I'm not going anywhere. Yo, twin flying Scorpio, as I said, six of cups. All right, you guys, so somebody from your past, this doesn't have to be your twin flame because I know everyone here is not on a twin flame journey, okay? But this could be someone that you met or, or that you had a connection with through childhood, okay? You and this person could have lived in the same neighborhood, the same community, okay? But I feel like this is more of your twin flame, okay? This is someone, Scorpio, that's saying they're not going nowhere, Scorpio. They, you know what I'm saying? They don't give a damn what you do. You know, this person is always going to be in your energy. Some of you guys, this could be another Scorpio, okay? So your divine counterpart, some of you guys, your twin flame could be a Libra here. Doesn't have to be, okay? But this person saying, Scorpio, they are not going anywhere, okay? So tell us about this confrontation in Holy Spirit. Who is this that won't smoke with Scorpio? <laughs> Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video, okay? We got to get them likes up, y'all. I know I had a family member that was fussing, talking about y'all got to get these likes up. Yes, you do. Get them up. Shit, you're viewing, you just will to like it, okay? All right, tell us about this confrontation, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this confrontation. Night of Wands. 
All right, Scorpio. So this is someone that was kind of in and out of your life here, okay, with this Knight of Wands in reverse. But this is someone, Scorpio, that might do something impulsive. Like, you know, they, they don't really think, like, when they just come up with a, a, a grand idea, be like, you know what, I think I'm going to pop up over Scorpio house today, okay? And this person going to go with that idea, okay? So some of you guys can have a confrontation with someone that is, um, what is the word I'm trying to use? That's engaging. Thank you, Spirit. That's engaging in some type of risky behavior, okay? They have impulsive decision making, okay? So I feel like some of you guys, this confrontation going to be because somebody going to say, you know what? I ain't talk to Scorpio when the men of Scorpio act like they don't want to talk to me. So I guess I'm just going to have to pop on up on Scorpio. So some of you can have a confrontation here, okay? This could be with a Sag or this can be with a Leo here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this Knight of Wands. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, okay? Ooh, okay. So someone here... Is carrying on, yeah. So whoever this is, Scorpio, they're engaging in some type of risky behavior. And I feel like for some of you guys, this risky behavior is them popping the ilk up on you, okay? This is someone that's very impulsive, okay? But they also are carrying some type of heavy burden. And I feel like this heavy burden that they're carrying, Scorpio, that this person never apologized to you. Like someone here owes you a, a big-ass apology, okay? I feel like this person is tired. They're overwhelmed. They're going through a lot. Like every day they're struggling, okay? Every day they struggling, struggling. Every day this person is struggling. But it's like this person, like whatever they've been carrying on, like you see how this person like carrying these ones, they back all humped over and stuff. Like this is a heavy burden. I feel like this person has not apologized to you. Like somebody here know they need to be honest with you about something, okay? But this person has not been honest with you, okay? So they've been carrying on this heavy burden. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Lots of fire energy, you guys. Could definitely be dealing with a Sag, or this could be someone like maybe there was a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry with you and this person in this connection, okay? So tell us about embarrassing Holy Spirit. Because somebody's going through something that's embarrassing them, okay? So let's Let's look at embarrassing messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more about embarrassing how the spirit. Who is being embarrassed? Damn, my string all in the cards. <laughs> all right, so we have the will of fortune here, okay? This could be about a Leo. This could be about an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or Taurus. Okay. So this is somebody I feel like that needs to communicate with you, okay? But I feel like whoever this is that's going through something that's embarrassing, like there is some type of change that needs to happen here, okay? I feel like something here is destined to happen. So there's a change that's going to happen in this situation, okay? Whoever this is that's being embarrassed by someone, like there's going to be a change, okay, and this change is going to happen. This is going to be for the better, but guess what? Somebody got to do. They have to communicate with you, okay. The wheel of fortune talks about the throat chakra, so I feel like in order for someone's look to change for the better, in order for someone's like for this wheel to start turning in this person's favor, this is someone that has to speak their truth. Like someone here really didn't tell. Like somebody lied, Scorpio, okay, and whatever they lied about, like it was a big ass lie, okay. But this person has to speak their truth here. Tell us about you need to be honest with someone or yourself, even if it's difficult. Then we're going to see who this is reading about, Scorpio, okay? Tell us about you need to be honest with yourself. Who needs to be honest, Holy Spirit? Here? Who is needing to be honest here? Hmm. So this person, Scorpio, needs to be honest with themselves Why they're not receiving this success like someone here it doesn't feel successful someone here is not reaping the benefits of reaping their rewards that they thought that they were going to reap possibly with choosing someone else here okay like someone here with this six of wands so this could be a leo as well heavy leo energy this is someone that they feel like a failure they feel unappreciated and they feel like someone here does not see their work like someone here i feel like has been working hard Possibly taking care of a home dynamic here with this house in the background. You know, taking care of a family here, but it's like they're not being appreciated for all their hard work. Tell us about this six of wands, Holy Spirit. 
tell us about this six of wands. Why is this person not feel appreciated? Who is this? Yeah, because someone here is putting a lot of hard work. They're dedicating their time. They're committed to someone here, okay? But I feel like, like they're not feeling appreciated. Like someone here is really working hard. I feel like to try to prove themselves to someone, you know, trying to work hard, show someone, you know, how much they love them, how much they care for them, paying bills. This is pinnacles, okay? So whatever they're doing, working hard, it has to do with finances here. Like somebody has been working hard to possibly take care of a home dynamic or to take care of some type of finances, okay? Maybe someone is taking care of somebody financially, but it's like, shit, they ain't appreciating nothing that this person here is doing. They like, oh, you got the money with bit. That's what I've been waiting on. Take your ass back out there and make me some more money, okay? <laughs> like someone here is not appreciating anything that someone is doing. All right, so let's see who this reading is about. And I feel like it's embarrassing this person. Like, shit, I'm up here working hard, trying to take care of us, trying to take care of you, and you just acting like shit. You ain't appreciative of nothing I got going on. So we have Sag, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo. We got Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, and Capricorn. We got Libra, Aquarius, Aries, and Virgo, you guys. All right, Scorpio, I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.